Hello, and welcome to Think About It. I'm a little concerned today, and I want to address this with you up front. There is a condition that is spreading like an epidemic among liberal Democrats, and it's a lack of honesty and memory. You remember, of course, uh, President Obama sat in Reverend Wright's church for 20 years but never heard a thing or never remembered any of the bad stuff. And now we have Obama spokeswoman Stephanie Cutter coming out and saying, she has no idea about Joe Soptic's wife's story, when she got sick or when she passed away. Hmm. But there's a problem. There's both video and audio evidence that she was in a conference call with him hearing the story, which somehow magically then became a campaign ad. You see, my friends, the Saul Alinsky model of power and politics says that every single means, no matter what, is justified as long as the end is what you want it to be. And so here we have the party of compassion and tolerance exploiting an individual who really has endured great personal tragedy. None of us would wish upon Joe Soptic the loss of his wife to cancer. It is shameful that he is being used as a tool of the left to accuse Mitt Romney of killing his wife. I don't know, Soptic, you don't know him either. I have to feel for a guy who has become a widower and found somebody who would pray upon him and say to him, we can find fault, we can fix blame for this if you'll simply help us. The Obama people are denying any coordination because that, of course, would violate federal law. The laughable part of that is, since when did they start caring about federal law? My question for you in this episode of Think About It is what does it say about a man who is so desperate to maintain power that he will do something like this? I think it's pretty sad. It's certainly a far cry from hope and change. Instead, it's a lot closer to sad pandering, pathetic politicking, and hopefully the end of an ugly era of American divisive politics. Mr. Soptic, Mitt Romney didn't kill your wife. She had cancer. There's no cure for cancer. By the way, you had insurance, even though you're claiming you didn't. And by the way, number three, this all happened years after Mitt Romney was no longer a part of your world. You've been used, sir, and I'm sorry to say so. I hope you can find comfort through your pain, but I hope you don't turn to the Democratic Party for that comfort, because they're only going to use you as long as you have some usefulness in the political realm. After that, see how many phone calls you get. It's a sad commentary. It is a pathetic presidency. And let us all hope that these Alinsky-like tactics don't work in November.